let's talk about hero archetypes for just a minute. When you go to the movie and you see any kind of film, or when you read a book, most poetry, there is a protagonist, a person that the story is about. That person is also called the hero. And the hero is on a journey to learn a lesson. If not, there would be no story. So at the core of all fiction is a character who needs to learn a lesson. Now the journey that that hero takes is characterized by an archetypal system. That means that a tragic hero is always going to do a few things so that they can have a tragic ending. A romantic hero is always looking for something and then getting something and then losing it and then getting it back again. That's a romantic hero. A dystopian hero is a character like Superman who comes into a world where everything is going wrong and all is in shatters but for his presence to be able to make things better. So if you have chosen this idea and are going to move forward with a hero archetype essay, then you'll want to open up the PDF that contains a list of, I think there's well over 300 characters on there. Pick one, go ahead and lock that topic in the discussion board so that no one else can write that topic. I'll tell you why that happens. It's not because people are bad. It's because on the discussion boards, people were talking about characters that they were using. This was back in the Hunger Game days. And I had 40 people all writing an essay on the same character from Hunger Games. That's not good. That's not beneficial to anybody. So that's why we have a topic lock. Not because people are bad, but just because people tend to gravitate towards the same ideas that they get excited about when they're on a discussion board. So when you pick the hero that you like, go ahead over to the topic lock, which you'll see uh, linked below, and lock in that topic. And when you open up the prompt, you'll see a series of archetypes, right? So uh, a Homeric uh, hero is always on a journey on a quest to find something. What is it that they're trying to find? Uh, a tragic hero is going to die at the end of the story. And what you want to do is pick the character that you like first, see what that character does, then take a look at the list of archetypes and ask yourself, what kind of archetype is this character? And then you'll develop your plot from that. In this module, I've done that process with the character of Alonzo from Training Day, which was a movie with um, Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke, and uh, I have always wanted to write that essay. I was kind of jealous of students forgetting to write that essay. Well, I had free time, so I wrote that essay and videotaped my process. So you'll be able to have that as sort of a go-by-go -go, uh, description and steps of how to write that essay. So it's all there for you. And again, this is a popular topic for folks because there's so many characters that are interesting out there. And so you will find a character on the list that you like and then lock that down. Make sure nobody else has already taken it. If you change your mind, as sometimes people do, then you would just go back in there and click a post and say, I'm unlocking that character and instead I'm going to select this character from the list. Okay, get going. You're going to love this, this essay. I really enjoyed the process and it's fun to come up with a theory about why a hero does what he does and what kind of archetype that therefore makes him or her. That concludes this tutorial. Have fun with hero archetypes.